Are you selling your home? Then avoid these three popular renovation projects, and I'll tell you why. It's all coming up. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Warren Oberhalser. I'm a local realtor in the East Bay Tri-Valley area in Northern California. My channel's all about helping both buyers and sellers get maximum results for one of their biggest investments, their home. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I post new content regularly. And if this is your first time here, don't worry about taking any notes. You'll find I've created a blog just for this video. The link's in the show notes below. So just sit back and enjoy. 7.95. That's how many years the average American homeowner lives in their home. Whether you're at the beginning, middle, or end of this eight year period, Someday you will sell your home. While it's great to renovate for comfort and enjoyment, keep in mind that what you do to your home now may have an impact on how long it takes to sell and how much money you'll walk away with. In other words, investing $25,000 in remodeling will not necessarily mean you can tack on an extra $25,000 to the asking price when you sell the home. Let's take a look at some of the worst renovations you can make if you hope to get a payoff when you sell. Number one, installing wall-to-wall -wall carpet or hardwood flooring. Yes, there was a time when wall-to-wall -wall carpet and hardwood flooring would boost a home's value. Those days are long gone. The fact that flooring giant Armstrong sold off its hardwood line is a tip that Americans are officially out of love with hardwood floors. So what about carpet? Lowe's had such a hard time selling carpet that they decided to offer free installation, but with no avail. They still saw a drop in 8% in carpet sales. Today's home buyer prefers luxury vinyl and will discount a home's perceived value if they need to replace flooring after moving in. Number two, converting the garage. Okay, garage conversions are more popular in some areas than they are in others. They are especially popular in older neighborhoods with small homes. Hey, who can blame someone for converting a garage into a bedroom when they need the space? Just don't expect that conversion will translate into more money when your home is sold. In fact, if the conversion was done without a permit, you may have a problem when selling. However, if you did use a permit, it depends on the price class of the home. If it's a cookie cutter home and it lacks a two car garage, well, they can deduct as much as 8,000 to 10,000 from the value. It's not clear cut, however, it is an issue, according to George Holmes from Eagle Appraisal. You can almost count on your home appraising for less compared to similar homes that have garages. And number three, permanent conversions of a bedroom. Bottom line, bedrooms add value. Often, however, homeowners permanently convert a third bedroom into an office gym or a family room. Well, there is nothing inherently wrong with adding any of these conversions. If you can't change the room back to a bedroom when you sell your home, the value of your home will diminish. Since you now have only two bedrooms, an appraiser is going to compare your home to other homes with just two bedrooms. Okay, where do you spend your money? No matter how much you renovate or update your home, if you have deferred maintenance issues, you stand a good chance of losing money on your sale. Put your home renovation dollars towards the less sexy projects new heater, plumbing, electrical upgrades, and anything that boosts the home's curb appeal. With this aggressive seller's market we're experiencing across our country as well as in the Tri-Valley area, probably the best area to begin with is just a roof and termite inspection. After you've had these inspections, if no major issues are found, you may just want to clean up your home, get it ready, and put it on the market to sell. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, post any questions or comments down below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. I post new content regularly. If you found this video interesting, you may wanna watch these other two, how to declutter your house, and five easy steps to get your house ready for the market that doesn't cost any money. So stay tuned. I've got more helpful videos like this coming soon. Please reach out to me for any of your real estate questions or needs, and I wish you all the best on your home journey.